Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial of how to do global signals in Godot. Set up a simple example of a player with an iglo, some background and some tiles. The idea is that when the player hits the end of the level, which in this case is the iglo, we send a signal to the world to either update the score or load a new level. Currently, the iglo has a signal emitting to itself to print a message when the player hits the collision shape. You can see the square here, which is the collision shape. And if you click on the iglo and go to node, you see when a body enters, it sends, it triggers a function. And the body is, in this case, a player. And then in script, you can see this function here being triggered, printing a message. And with this icon, you can see how the method is connected. So let's try it out. If you press play, go over it, you see that we get a message saying level finished. So let's change this into a global signal. To do that, we have to add a script. Go to script, new script, let's call it event bus. That's what this basically is. We have an event bus where we emit signals in and then we have subscribers to this event bus which listen to the events going into the event bus. So we have our event bus. And we can remove most of the code here and then add a signal, level finished. And now we want to make this event bus available throughout our whole application. To do that, we can to do that we can make a singleton out of it. We go to project, project settings, and then to auto load. And we click the folder icon here. We click the event bus, and then we edit. And here you can see that it's a singleton. Now a singleton is an object where there's only one instance of throughout the whole application. Uh, in this case, the event bus only has one instance. This can be very useful, but it's also an anti-pattern and you have to be careful when to use it. You can close this. And now what we want to do is we want to connect this script to the event bus to emit the signal. And then in the world node, we want to listen to the signal and do something. So we can remove this line, then we can call event bus. And as you can see, it's available to us. Then we do emit signal. Then we give it the name of the signal we created, which is level finished. And that's it. Now when this method is called, it will trigger this emit signal to the event bus. And now we're gonna listen to it. So in the world, we're gonna attach a script. Let's put this in the scripts folder. Scripts, let's call it world. Now we created a script on the world node. And what we have to do now is we have to connect to the event bus signal. We call event bus connect. We give it the name of the signal we gave it. Then we have to connect it to a target, which is the class itself. So we do self, and then we have to give it a name of a method that will be triggered when the signal comes in. So let's call it on, on level finished this. Let's copy this name so we don't make any mistake. Then we create a function here. And then we say print, let's call this world level finished. So what should happen now is if the player walks into the collision shape of this iglo, it triggers the signal here saying that a body has entered, then it will emit a signal to the event bus on the name level finished. And in the world, we listen to the event bus on level finished and we call the on level finished method, which will then print 
this message. So let's try that out. And there you go. We get our message. And that's a simple way of how to do global signals. Global signals can be very useful to connect several pieces of your game together if there is no direct relation and you have multiple things to listen to, for example. I hope you learned something. If you did, consider to subscribe. And I hope you have a nice day.